Hey guys, so I decided that I'm going to make this um, video feed daily, I think. I mean, every day that I'm on the water, just so I can have some sort of like, uh, I could rehearse my daily activities and kind of replay in my head what happened and how I can capitalize on the opportunities that I had during the day. So, that being said, I'm going to pull up Google Chrome here and take a peek at Navionics. Let's see here, of course it's going to be slow. <clears throat> okay. So today, of course, I was on Lake Dunlap. I launched out of Schumann's Beach area. And I tried to go out there with an open mind, but I also went out there thinking I was going to capitalize on the docks that were... Uh, exposed to sunlight today was partly cloudy in the morning and um, it was hard to find those docks that really got a good angle with the sun that being said when i pulled out this morning from schumann's beach which is this area hold on which is the area over here i pulled out and went kind of down towards highway 35 and started fishing some docks on the outside you know of the channel outside edges of the channel like I normally do but today I guess what was different is um, well hold on, let me see where I really spent some time um, Yeah, I spent a lot of time in this area over here on this channel swing. And I don't know, like, I guess I realized, obviously, like, I came up with this theory the other day, which isn't really a theory. It's kind of known, but about fishing the bottom the bottom layer of the water. Um, so I was throwing, you know, a drop shot, and I wasn't looking for um, big fish. I was looking for groups of fish because I have a client on Monday who I'm trying to prepare for. So I just wanted to find new spots to add to my rotation and make sure I find the docks that were really the main producers. Um, but that being said, you know, I ran those docks, I ran these docks on this corner here. Some of them were shaded, some of them weren't. Um, you know, I like the partial shade, but I want there to be, like I said, a good angle with the sun. That's super important. Like the dark docks that never really get sunlight in the winter just aren't good. They're just not, um, but so I, I just figured today, like my, my game plan was is to just throw my normal drop shot bait and I can cover water quickly and just look for bites. Like if they're there, they're going to bite it. So to me, it's like, I could have pulled out a jig today and thrown the jig, or I could have thrown a crankbait or whatever. I talked to a guy who said he was throwing a crankbait, but I felt like, you know, I just needed to get more bites. I have a lot of good spots. I'm ready for this trip, but I wanted to add some new docks to my rotation. And so I picked up that drop shot and I could just cover water. Boom, 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 boom. No matter what the conditions are, I know that I can always get bit throwing a six inch zoom finesse worm with a, you know, eight inch, six to eight inch leader on eight pound test. I can always, always on a drop shot rig catch them, no matter what, in any lake, anywhere in the world, anywhere. So I just throw it out there and I let it sit, basically. Throw it out there and let it sit. And I do this at every single dock. And I'll just throw it in the high percentage areas. I don't throw it all over the dock, just in the high percentage areas and move. Keep moving, keep moving until I get bit. And then I'll mark it and leave it alone. And I know that there's at least a population there um, of fish. And I'll run through there, you know, on my guide trip, and I'll throw different baits to try to catch bigger fish. But um, so... That being said, I fished that area, you know, thoroughly, this whole stretch. And I got a couple bites. I think I boated like one or two fish. I moved and I started looking for rock. And, um, you know, I, I pretty much kept that drop shot in my hand all day. I committed to doing that. So I wasn't afraid of like, oh, you know, I'm going to catch a little fish because that... 
it doesn't matter. I just feel like you have to use fish to find fish. And if you're getting bit, you know, there may be a big population of smaller fish. But I do believe that in the general vicinity of where they're at, there's some sort of food base that's going to be able to support, you know, bigger fish as well. Now, obviously, there's a difference between like a large population of small fish and like an area where there's a nursery, you know, a nursery type area where they're they're growing and they're in a very protected little small area. And, you know, it doesn't support large fish. But in the areas that are deeper, closer to deep water, like this channel swing here, there's going to be big fish nearby somewhere like always, you know, big fish like access, quick access to deep water always. Um, but I'm trying to think, you know, oh yeah, so I went, I went up this way. This is that little point that I like that comes out that's, you know, at the mouth of this little backwater. So I went up here, I fished around this a little bit, but I don't know, it just, I didn't feel like I had enough large solid cover to key in on in the middle of the day. If it was in the morning, maybe they were they could be roaming up there and not necessarily, you know, tied into uh, or locked in on a piece of cover, you know. But in the middle of the day, they get more like position on cover and predictable. <clears throat> and there wasn't like really big cover in the area that I saw, so I kind of flipped in there. There's some trees that overhang, and I thought, you know, maybe, um, maybe that'll provide some shade and hold them there for a little longer. But I don't, I didn't really feel right about it, and so I moved. But there's always um, blue herons on that bank, always. Um, anyways, then I went down here. This is that shallow like pocket back in here that's adjacent to this bar. And <sighs> there's deep water that runs up, you know. It's kind of cut off with the imagery, but the channel runs up close to the bank here. And... I started up here at the mouth because I know that they, they're going to spawn up here. And I thought, okay, maybe, like, there's a whole bunch of, like, uh, stumps. There's stumps, like, every, you know, 20 yards or something. And they're under these overhanging trees. And so I threw, like, a little crawdad crankbait in there. And I wasn't getting bit on it. And I don't know if that's because the activity level of the fish or just because they weren't there. So then I was like, okay, well... I'm going to rule that out and I'm going to throw, um, you know, like a drop shot in there. So I did that. But like the main thing is, is I focused on fishing not from all the way back here to the pocket. I fished more. Hold on. I fished more from the pocket, which I know they're going to spawn in, out. I think that was more efficient than just randomly casting down this bank because they, you know, there's a, there's probably some sort of cutoff, you know, to where they're at. I'm still working on this freaking. But anyways, um, so I fished that area. I didn't get bit with the crankbait. I didn't get bit with the drop shot. Um, I just don't feel like they're on the type of cover right now, those stumps like that. I just don't feel right about it. You know, I don't know. I saw someone a little farther down, like over here, fishing these little areas, like these little channel swing areas where it really gets tight. You know, maybe there's something going on over there. I don't know. For me, not the case, but <laughs> people catch fish over there, I guess. Um, but yeah, I fished that. It didn't work out. I thought it was a good idea because I thought, okay, they're going to spawn here. How are they going to get there? It's either from this side or it's from this side or it's from this way. And then I thought about these docks here. These little docks are all small little canoe docks, like tiny, tiny, tiny. But there's one dock over here. Um, there's like this dock right here, this little area that's just past all those little uh, kayak docks that's actually got good sunlight on it. I caught one fish there. I was That was good because I added a spot. And then... Um, then I, f so I fished that, I caught one fish there, then I moved over to my seawall area over here, fished that, I caught one fish and left it alone because I catch a lot of fish over there and I don't want to catch too many for my guide trip, you know. Um, so I did that. I moved around the corner and um, fished this creek channel bend right here. There's some, there's some areas over there where there's some there's like a dock area 
that I fish all along this way. There's like three docks and I fish those pretty good. One of the docks has like a little brush, like an artificial man-made brush pile on there. And then, so there's three docks total on this creek channel bin. I fish that. Um, I think I might have had a bite. I don't know. But normally I catch fish over there. Anyways, there's this little area where they say hazard wall. I don't know what that's all about. But the concrete, there's concrete wall all along this that I normally fish and I catch them on. It's next to the docks. That's always good. Um, I fished it a little bit, but once again, I didn't want to fish in that area because I didn't want to tear up my spots. It's just not worth it. I was trying to add do rotation. So the new one that I added was this this little dock area because obviously they're going to move into this pocket. So they're either going to come from this side, like I said, or this side. It seemed like there's fish over there. I know there's fish on this side. So this little area here is pretty good, it seems like for me right now, this whole section. Um, then what did I do? I went back over here. I fished some of these docks on this creek channel, like where it comes in close to the bank here. I fished some of these docks, fished some of these docks. I kept moving out to the outside of this creek channel bend. I fished some of those again that I had already fished just to check them at a different time of the day. I was catching like fish here and there. Um, nothing you know not a ton of fish in one area and it may be because I was moving so much and I wasn't really staying stationary but um, but like I said I wasn't trying to go in there and just murder them today I was just trying to find new areas and I was trying to fish quick I just hit the high percentage areas with a drop shot boom if they bite it they don't if they do then then I mark it on the GPS um, of course there's this area that I normally fish I didn't even hit that today where it's like a transition here to once again it's at the front of this pocket where they're going to spawn I mean that's the real deal right there um, and the creek channel comes up close and then it also touches on this back side I catch them over here sometimes right now in this time of year um, of course I fish at this point over here I think I talked about that in the last video um, I just didn't fish it today once again I wasn't wanting to spoil what I have it makes no sense to do that Here's the concrete wall area over here that I fished that's next to this creek area. Um, I didn't hit that today. I went back over here again to the launch. I fished, there's one dock over here that's black and it's black metal, black metal and it stands out from the rest of the docks and it's on this most severe area right here. And it seems to be one of the only areas in that general vicinity that gets a lot of sunlight during the day and last video I had said hey I don't really want to fish this area right now because it's not it's some of the dark docks are really dark for most of the day but that one area gets sunlight and I fished in there and didn't get bit um, but I thought it was good in the summertime I'm gonna murder them in there but then I moved down I fished some of these docks that were close to the creek channel What's up, babe? You pick it up at 8.15. Sounds good. I'm doing a video right now. Hey, you're good. So then I fished some of these docks right here on this edge. Um, you know, it's like if you look at it, zoom in, the dock doesn't really extend to the creek channel. So, you know, although some of those are deeper, they're not really ideal. This one's a little closer. It touches the creek channel. It's a little closer to touching the creek channel. This one is here. You know, if you go down a ways, this is where the little intake is, where there's like pipes and stuff. I fished that for a little bit. That nothing really happened there, and I fished it freaking hard. I fished it hard. I backed away off, and I threw it out away from the bank and just drug it really slow with like a three eighths ounce uh, drop shot weight. Didn't happen. Um, but then I started, then I started moving in to this area. Here's one dock that touches the creek channel. Good dock. I moved down this way and found these two docks. Then I found this dock. Then I found this dock. This is a spawning area right here. I caught like a four pounder right here today. Where the creek channel comes and touches the edge of that dock. Super, super key. This one I fished, I didn't get bit there. That doesn't mean they're not gonna be there tomorrow. 
they could have been there today. It just could have been that they're not set up right. Um, but all these docks over here, like this one and this one, are not the same as this one and these ones. And this one's not the same either. They have to fully extend out into the creek channel. You know, like this, these two, pretty close, they extend out in the creek channel, but it's all about the proximity to this spawning area. They also spawn heavily right here, heavily. So maybe these docks, you know, but it's all about, but you see how close these are right here. This is a severe drop right here. Um, this is a pretty decently severe one. But I think that's what I'm figuring out is that those areas like that, you know, obviously you could look at that and say, well, what's different from this area over here? This is a severe drop where the creek channel touches, you know, it touches. And that's true. It is. Um, but these don't receive a ton of sunlight over here. So that's the only thing. But, you know, uh, I don't know. I mean constantly readjusting looking at the position of the sun seeing how things go I might fish here tomorrow just because I see that these four docks right here are really close to touching the creek I know I fished it before nothing's happening but there's just not a lot of places in the lake where the dock touches the creek channel and it's close to a spawning area you know they're gonna spawn on top of this island over here I know they are they're gonna spawn you know over here um they're gonna spawn all up and down here this is all lily pads and stuff so you know this this is access to these lily pads this bank this peninsula you know this is a really freaking good area so i'm just thinking maybe tomorrow i need to look at it again just for the hell of it i mean i fish all these too but maybe i need to look at it again but anyways that's kind of what I did today, and um, I'm figuring out. I think right now, you know, I talked to a fellow at the boat ramp, and he thought that the fish were pre-spawned, but they're not. They're not. They're not in there. Uh, it's like an early pre-spawn right now. They're not. They're not set up ready to get on bed or anything like that yet. They're still in their deeper areas. It's like eight to twelve feet, and they're feeding heavily on crawfish, um, and. Um, that's just what it is. I, I think that they're not going to be ready to get going here for about another, really like another month and a half. I think they'll be pre-spawn here shortly, but I don't think they're really going to get up on bed until, you know, early March, mid-March, you know, through April even. And then obviously, like May, they're going to start moving off and it'll just be males. Um, but it's just not time yet. It's still a late winter, early pre-spawn type bite and it's about the proximity to the creek channel with the end of the docks and fishing the dock ends areas exposed to sunlight um hard areas all all that stuff so um that's my report for today